friends welcome to the part 3 of the making of the penalty shooter game in scratch so if you are new to this uh, tutorial please uh, make sure you check out part 1 and part 2 first and uh, come to this tutorial so for others let's start so um, last time we just uh, used uh, the two, these two variables and made it to just uh, go back and forth and uh, uh, we made it to select uh, the power and the position by using the buttons and last time i just left uh, two codes to be done here so for example if i click on the green flag so we don't have the power button here so first of all let's fix it so let's go to the power button here and uh, we have hidden the power button but we haven't shown in the front so that's uh, what was left so let me go to the looks menu here and go downwards and drag the show uh, block and just drag it uh, below the go to x5 block now if i click the green flag now it shows the button but uh, another thing is also should be done here for example if i select the position now the position has been selected and the power uh, slider is not moving so for that uh, let me just uh, go down here let me just stop the script first and we have already selected the power as one so uh, we left it as well so for um, solving this we go to the soccer bug and we have left we have set the position selected to zero but we haven't selected power made the power selected to zero at the start so let's do that as well go to the variables menu and change the change value to zero and instead of change value you use power selected to zero now let's try our final code so i select the position the position is zero and the power has been started and if I, I select the power the power has been selected to 70. so that's uh, the code that we wanted to make up to the second part of the tutorial so for the last part so we are going to make this uh, ball shoot up according to the power and the position of the ball so now let's start <coughs> So for that we go to the power button here so because uh, at last uh, we have to select the power button yeah we have to select the power and after selecting the power this uh, shooter need to go towards the ball and shoot the ball for that so this is where the um, code is when this is sprite is click we set the power to one and we hide the power and after we add the power let's uh, just broadcast something so we go to the events block and we bro broadcast drag a broadcast block and instead of uh, position selector we select a new message called ball shoot <coughs> okay we have broadcasted the ball shoot and uh, let's go to the shooter here bin and we just <coughs> drag go to the events block and drag when i receive ball shoot it's already in the ball shoot so when i receive ball suit what should it do it should go towards the ball so let me drag the pin towards the ball like this okay and let's go to the motions block and just drag a glide one second to x5 block towards here and now it just glides up to the ball and the last thing to do is uh, make this boy shoot the ball and for that we need to change the costume of this uh, shooter as well so let's go to the costume tab and for shooting position this is a good position the costume pen b so let's select that costume as well so let's go to the looks block and switch the costume to pen d so instead of d we use pen b so let's uh, try the code one more time so I click the green flag, I select the position, I select the power and it goes out and it shoots the ball. Now the main part is shooting the ball. So for that, uh, so let's go to the soccer ball and do the same thing. Go to the events block and uh, drag a when I receive ball shoot event, same event. And after that, uh, go to the controls block and just wait for one second so why are we waiting for one second because the pin takes 
one second to glide towards the ball that's why we are waiting for one second and after that it glides towards the ball and shoots so we need to move this ball towards the post <coughs> for that let's go to the control block again and let's drag a repeat block and it is repeating 10 times so instead of 10 times let's repeat something 20 times so now we are changing the position of x and y of the block yeah according to the power and the position for that uh, let's go to the motion menu and go downwards and there it change x by 10 and change y by 10 so let me just show in this change x by 10 and change y by 10 so instead of 10 we need to put uh, uh, the number according to the power and the position so for that uh, let me just uh, go to the operators menu and we need to use a formula and for that let me just use drag a divide operator so i will drag two divide operators and i will drag a plus operator and i will drag a minus operator and let's uh, just go to the variables block and let's drag position and let's drag power so first of all let's uh, use the position so drag a position to the plus operator like this uh, and on drag the position to the power uh, minus operator like this and position minus we write here 50 yeah and drag this um, minus operator towards one of the divide operator like this and here we write uh, 8 yeah so this is for the x position of the ball so you don't have to worry about this formula i have already formulated if you want to understand about this formula you can just comment on our video then i will just uh, make another video or just uh, explain it in the comments so drag this uh, position operator towards the change x by 10 and now for the power also do the same thing drag the power to the plus operator like this and we just uh, use 80 number power plus 80 and then drag this power plus 80 towards the divide operator and write the number here uh, 18 yeah and after that uh, drag this operator to change y by 10 like this and that's it and drag this x change x by 10 and change y by 10 inside the repeat block and let's see if uh, the ball goes towards the post or not so let me click the green flag select the position 90 power to 60 yeah it goes towards the post and it is going towards the pot ball but the ball is of the same size so let's change the size of the ball as well for that uh, let's just go to the looks menu and there is a change size by 10 block drag it below the change y by something block and instead of change size by 10 we are going to change size by minus 2 because we are making it smaller and we have changed the size of the ball here so at the start of the game we have to set the size of the ball to 100 percent like this now let's uh, try our code one more time so when i click the green flag i click the position i choose the power it goes so it becomes smaller and it's a goal here and that's it and the last thing to do is uh, check if the keeper is catching the ball or not so for that uh, let's go to the control statement and drag a if block and below the change uh, size by minus two block here and let's go to other sensing menu and just drag a touching mouse pointer block inside the if block like this and instead of touching mouse pointer we have to change it to touching keeper so if the ball is touching the keeper then it is a catch here so then uh, let's go to the looks menu and just drag a say block here and just say C A T C H catch yeah 
and let's try one more time I start so select the position select the power zero it's a goal I think let's do one more time select the position select the power 10 goes and it is caught by the keeper but the keeper is still moving yeah so to uh, stop the movement of the keeper let's uh, broadcast another message towards the keeper for that let's go to the events block and drag a broadcast block here below the say block and broadcast a new message called keeper stop so the keeper needs to stop once it catches the ball so we have broadcasted the message so let's go towards the keeper sprite and we have we are already in the events block here so drag a when i receive the event that is keeper stop then we need to stop this keeper for that let's go to the control statement and go downwards there is something called stop or drag it and attaches in the when i receive keeper stop and instead of stop all we use uh, stop others other scripts in sprite like this so it will stop the keeper so let's try one more time i click the green flag i click the position i click the power and it has caught the ball yeah the keeper has caught the ball and it's a catch <coughs> so that's it and last one is to check the goal if the keeper doesn't catch and it is inside the goal post it should be good and for that let's go to the soccer ball sprite as well and now once we have repeated 20 times so we have to check if it is inside a post or not for that let's um, go to the control block and drag a if else block like this and let's go to the sensing menu and do the same thing drag a touching mouse pointer block like this and instead of touching mouse pointer we are going to check if it is touching a post or not so if the ball is touching the post then it is a goal uh, so for that let's go to the looks menu and say goal for two seconds so instead of hello we write g o g o a l goal i hope this is the spelling of goal and if it is not touching the post then it is out yeah so let's drag that one also say hello for two seconds and instead of writing hello we say o u t out yeah and also we have to stop the keeper if it is goal or if it is uh, out for that let's go to the events and broadcast then drag the broadcast block here like this and we have to broadcast keeper stop if it is goal or out like this so this is our final uh, uh, code uh, let's check everything now so let me stop the game and start one more time and I select the position position is 10 power is 80 and the ball is what is it oh I, I let's try one more time so the position is 20 and the power is 60 and it is a goal because the keeper could not caught the ball catch the ball yeah so let me try one more time this time let's uh, make it uh, out position is 90 power is 80 yeah it is outside the post that's why it is out so that's uh, how we make uh, the penalty shooter game so i hope you guys like this uh, tutorial if you like it please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel as well and you can just uh, add other elements in this game as well such as scores you can change the numbers uh, to fit your style as well so thank you guys for watching